How's it going, everybody? Doing another drink review here today. And I'm going to be doing some gum chewing and rambling and tapping on some game cases because a lot of you been into the tapping videos lately, especially with the gain up. So <clears throat> I figured I'd throw this in the drink review. But I'll be re reviewing this Coca Cola Y3000. This is the new creations, I believe. I really wanted to hold off with the sodas, but. I see something I can do a drink for, and I've got an addiction. If I see I can do a drink review with it, with it, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna drink the whole thing though. My fiance does want to try it, so I will save some of that. Um, and I'll be tapping on some game cases. This um, this one uh, is co-created with artificial artificial intelligence. There's supposed to be one that's gonna be created with uh, the shady universe as well, but you know. I gotta do something real quick, so... I had a... Well, it helped a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of some of that glare that's bouncing off my nose. Um, but let's get into this. I've seen a lot of people posting about this one on Instagram, so... It says futuristic flavored. <clears throat> I'm actually getting, I can't be right here. I'm getting a little bit of mango taste in there. It's weird. It's like a soda e mango to me. <clears throat> That's kind of interesting. It's not bad. It's almost mangoey. It tastes very similar to just Coke in general, regular Coke. <clears throat> Weird. Is that the AI, uh, the collaboration with AI? It almost tastes, this is gonna sound weird. It almost tastes fake. Like, in, like, a, like, a, uh, <laughs> like it would be AI, like it's an imitation. It does have a little mango to it though. It's not bad though, but it's almost like, it's weird, it's hard. It's almost tastes slightly flat, but a mango-ish, I don't know. I'm getting something else in the back end. The mango's kind of gone away. I'm getting something else, but I don't know what the hell it is. Like I said, I'm not good at this stuff, so I'm not. But yeah, let's do some gum chewing and tapping on some game cases. Some of the game cases that I got at the garage sale uh, on Saturday. Um, still pumped about those garage sale pickups. thinking about it like I was like you know I talked about it, it was eighty dollars the person won a hundred got to eighty and it's it's five it was five dollars a game and 
almost all those games, all those games realistically have more than $5 in value, but if you're selling them, you're not making profit on some of them. But like this, I'm keeping this. I grabbed this one specifically to keep. Brute force. This one I'm gonna end up selling. Dead or alive. Extreme beach volleyball. No interest in playing it. And it does have some value. I wanna make, I wanna sell like this. Mario 3 and Knights of the Old Republic because I already own those two. Just to get a little money back on what I spent. And I wanna keep some of these other Xbox games just because I like them back in the day. And that doesn't mean I wouldn't sell them at some point, but not for a bit. I forgot to mention, I didn't know it had this in there. But like I said, all these games are legit, legitimately 100% complete, but it has the lithograph. So it has everything in there. Still cool to see because you don't see this at garage sales. At least I don't think I've ever come across it. I might have back in the day. Okay. I don't think it's because of gum, but I'm getting a different taste now from this. It's almost Christmassy. I don't know. This thing's throwing me off. Um, a lot of games like this, Beyond Good and Evil. And not that any of these games, none of these games are like rare. It's not like it's like a 500 Xbox game. <clears throat> but when I see games at G sales, seeing these two. These are uncommon to find at garage sales. This game is, like I was talking about already, this game is amazing. And this game is extremely good as well. This game I completed back then, this one I did not. But just to have these two, like if I wanted to pick these up, you know, online or retro game store, I'm dropping $25, $30, maybe even $40. You know, outside some grime that I can clean off. <laughs> These discs are all they're just excellent. They all have. Maybe this one doesn't. Then. No, it does. Registration card came on the inside. They have their 100% complete. complete. I'm getting a different taste now. It's that the mango's gone. I can't describe what that is. One of you guys can have to tell me because I can't. Some of you definitely are much better at picking up on, on what the, you know, if you've had these drinks, you know the flavors. <clears throat> it's almost like a candy cane, like it's weird. I don't know if the gum's affecting it, but. Yeah, you see this has, does Game Pro even exist anymore? I don't think so. And it has the registration card from Sega. I mean, it's just cool getting these games. And it's a way to help build my collection. If I'm collecting for that system, I'm going for more games. To get some of these ones I like, Get them, you know, even at five dollars a piece. Like this five dollars, that's a deal. That's a steal. Like, no doubt about it. Of course, I'd love to, if all sixteen games were forty dollars, but 
was an estate sale and I heard him giving prices to other people on stuff and I'm like when I grabbed everything I'm like this stuff's gonna be at least like 50 60 dollars of course when he said 100 I was like okay I'm like would you take 80 and like I said he's like oh, I'd have to get my guy over and then I was like you know what can I get you know I'll, I'll, I'll take out some games we'll get a lower price I go like, oh, okay yeah 80 is good I was like guy was gonna come over. Where was this guy gonna come from? 80 is a great deal for me, <clears throat> and it's still good for them. Because, let's be real, at garage sales and stuff like this, state sales even, you're not, I'm surprised I even had that money on me. I usually don't carry more than like 50 or 60. I don't know what that is. I've tasted it before though. It almost tastes a little bit like the aloe vera drinks too that I have. I don't know. Like I said, either one of you guys tell me on the air and comment or I'll just look it up. Um, I'm not gonna look it up now. But that taste is like lingering. Um, and just to get like great copies, you know, outside of some crud that I can clean off with it, put a little water on tissue to get some of this grime off. The most of them are in really good shape. The discs are all. This was a cool game. Like I said in my other in the pickup video, this game, garage sale pickups. This game's absolutely overhyped as well. Like this review, good. It did not review badly. It's like like you know between like a seven and eight people were giving it, and that's around what it is. But they were they were advertising this <clears throat> because it was an exclusive made by you know Microsoft Game Studios. They were like promoting it as like another halo type game you know, even though it's not in first person but it had that kind of hype behind it and uh it was good but it did not it wasn't some like 10 out of 10 but it was cool and the ai was extremely you know the ai was good especially for the time and uh And the graphics at the time were really good as well. Never, I'm pretty sure they never made a sequel to this. I thought I had another one. I forgot this one. This Circus Maximus as well. I thought this was an exclusive, but I'm pretty sure it was a launch title. These five I'm gonna keep for the time being, for the Xbox games. Uh, I'm gonna try to sell Dead or Alive, Extreme Beach Polyvolt. Um, obviously Knights Old Public and the Dr. Muto game. And on the NES, I'm gonna try to sell Mario 3, because I have it. Eventually I will sell Contra. I still can't get Super Dodgeball to work. I gotta try to figure that out. I'm gonna go like a six on this. This newer taste I'm getting out of it, it, it was better at first. It can't be the gum, but I'm gonna go with six on this one. This Y3000. It must be the AI I'm tasting. Oh god, I shouldn't have dragged this. It probably have little nano machines in there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with six on this one. I'm just gonna start to get a little nastier with my reviews. 
Six is still not bad. Yeah. That's just a uh, Y3000 Coke Creations, Coca-Cola Creations, futuristic flavor. I drink review and some tapping on some uh, original Xbox game cases. Come true. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm going to probably end up doing Somebody was asking for me, for me to do uh, the NFL Week 2 recap video with Hard Candy, and I might just end up doing that. The games are going on. I'm filming this on Sunday. I had filmed the garage sale pickup on Saturday, but it's going up today, Sunday, later. But it's going to be tomorrow when... No, I forget right. <clears throat> so, uh, the games are going on right now. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe Denver will get a win today. They probably won't. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for checking us out. And have a good day.